Hello friends, my name is Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is going to be one of my like fashion PR hauls. This video is not sponsored, but everything that I'm sharing today I've gotten from a bunch of different brands. Um, some I did make sponsored content for over on Amazon or on TikTok, and I'm just going to compile them together and share them all with you here today because I love sharing um, my love of fashion with you guys. So, um, the first dress was actually one that I collaborated with the brand on TikTok shop, and so the clip is... Um, filmed vertically instead of horizontally, but it is this dress. It is a floral, flowy puff sleeve dress that has ruffles all throughout the skirt. Not all throughout the skirt, but there are several layers of ruffles in the skirt. The dress is this like wonderful light, like linen fabric. So even though it's long sleeve, it's still gonna be like not super hot during summertime. Um, it has this gorgeous floral design and the floral design is what first drew me to the dress. It has like these multi-colored watercolor flowers. Um, there's yellow and blue and pink and mostly green. It's like, I would say most of it is green because there's so many leaves. Um, there's also some like brown and, and some like off-white flowers in there. I'm not sure how well you can actually see in the clip though, um, but there's just so many different beautiful flowers. There is like a sash that you can tie in the middle. I kind of have it tied off to the side in my front because that's how the model was wearing it. The model actually had it tied off to her side in a few photos and then she had it tied in the, directly in the front in the middle and a few others. But I actually think this would look really cute if you also tied it in the back and kind of had like a bow in the back of your dress, especially if like your hair is pinned up or you have like shorter hair and so like you really show off your back. That would just be like a really cute little extra detail. But you can also take it off completely if you're not into the sash and I think that would be equally as cute. There's already so much going on with the dress. If you decide to take the sash off, it's not gonna take away from the dress at all. Because like I said, it has the big puff sleeves, it has the big flowy layered skirt and it's just, it's beautiful. A beautiful summer spring dress. And that was the only thing from TikTok shop for today's haul. Everything else is from various brands on Amazon and I will of course leave everything linked down below. But the next one is also a dress and this is like a little cocktail dress. Um, it like, it matches my nails today, which was honestly just a um, coincidence. But we've got this tight little cocktail dress that has a slit on your left leg. Um, these spaghetti straps, which honestly, the spaghetti straps are like not very supportive. Make sure you're wearing a really good supportive strapless bra with this one because these spaghetti straps could snap at any moment and your dress could fall down. So you just need a bra to make sure your top is supported and it's not going to fall down if that happens. You know what I mean? Um, it does zip in the back and it comes in other colors. Um, but then my favorite detail of this dress is like the asymmetrical neckline. It, it's kind of like diagonal, like one side is just slightly like um, higher than the other. It's not quite a one shoulder though, but it kind of, it goes diagonally like a one shoulder would, but it's not a one shoulder. It's spaghetti straps. I would even like dare to call it crooked, but it's like intentionally crooked. It's part of the design. And I just think it's so cute. I love this like light baby blue for springtime. This would be such a good um, wedding guest dress. I'm actually gonna be wearing it to an engagement party this weekend. It's such good quality. Um, you can't really see in the clips, but on the inside, it does have like double like layered lining just to like reinforce the structure of the dress. And it's just, it's very well made, very high quality. Um, perfect, perfect little cocktail dress. Next, I have two shirts from Amazon that are almost identical, and I even have them both in black. Um, they both come in other colors, but the, the brand sent me both shirts in black. But they are these ribbed long sleeve shirts. Um, the first one is kind of like a mock turtleneck. It's high up on your neck, but not as high as a turtleneck would be. And actually, even the, um, the neck kind of has like a little ruffle to it, which is also just really cute, kind of feminine. Makes it a little girlier, I guess. And then you have like this ribbed, um, like striped, um, like stitching, like knit um, all the way across the entire shirt. These are very tight fitted, but they're not like tight, uncomfortable. They're very stretchy. So they're gonna stretch and like fit around your form and um, hug every curve, you know? but they are tight fitted. They would look really cute tucked into a pair of jeans. I just wore them as is for today. These aren't really great for um, spring or summer. We're kind of skipping around seasons here, but when fall and winter come around, this is gonna be just a really great everyday piece, um, staple piece for your closet to pair with like any type of jeans, any type of skirt. 
It's gonna keep you nice and warm during those fall winter months. Um, this next shirt, like I said, almost the exact same shirt, exact same material. The sleeves are the same, the length of the top is the same, the ribbing is the same, except the neckline. The neckline is the only thing that's different. This one has like a, what is this, like a scooped neckline, but this one's more squared off. I know there's a word for this, but it's not coming to mind right now, but it is like a squared off, like low cut scooped neckline. This one shows off a lot more chest. And I actually kind of prefer this one. It's just my own style. Personally, I like to show a little bit more skin. And also whenever I wear turtlenecks, I feel kind of like um, claustrophobic. And so I do prefer this one. But again, you know, just another closet staple and multiple different like styles for whatever your preference is. And then we have some swimwear. Both of these swimsuits are with are um, from Tempt Me, which I work with Tempt Me all the time over on Amazon. Um, if you go and look at listings on Tempt Me, um, you'll see my picture all over their listings, which is so exciting. I'm so grateful to continuously work with them. But this swim, both of these swimsuits are amazing. Like truly, some of my favorite swimsuits I've ever received from Tempt Me because they fit so well and make me feel so confident. So starting off with this green one, both of these come in lots of other colors, by the way, but I have this first one in this like dark green. Um, it has these high-waisted bottoms, which are just my personal preference for swimsuit bottoms. I like high-waisted. I have a lot of like loose skin and stretch marks um, from for pregnancies, and I just like to cover it up. So we've got these high-waisted bottoms, and then the top is like what I especially love. Now this top, let me just say, this top fits me perfectly. That's not gonna be the case for everyone. Um, this top is like the straps are adjustable, but you can't adjust the band. Now for me, it's a perfect fit, but it's not gonna be a perfect fit for everyone. Like I said, it does stretch, but like, you know, it only stretches so far. So make sure when you're ordering it, you are checking the size chart and ordering your perfect size because there's no give. There's very little give, I should say, because it does stretch a little bit um, as far as sizing goes. But the top does have like this little hole in the middle between your breasts, just to show off like a little under boob, just to make it like a little bit sexy. Um, overall, the swimsuit isn't super scandalous, except for that little bit to show a little, off a little under boob. And then right on top, you have a cute little bow. The straps are also kind of like a wider strap a wider like bikini, what, it, what what am I trying to say? A wider tank top strap. And so it also is just a little bit more comfortable. Sometimes with the skinnier straps, they can dig into your shoulders a little bit. And this one just kind of, it like disperses the, the weight of your breasts, I guess. I have small boobs, so it doesn't, it's, it's not a huge deal for me, but if you have larger boobs, that's always a plus. Um, so it's not going to, the straps aren't gonna be digging into your shoulders as badly. Um, but I just feel like so confident in this. And like I said, I do have smaller boobs. So sometimes I have a lot of trouble with bikini tops, but both this one and the next bikini I'm gonna show you, they just fit me so well. I feel really confident. Both of them are like itty bitty titty approved, I guess. Um, this next one is very similar style. It also has a high-waisted bikini bottoms. These ones have like ruffles on them though, which are really cute. Um, I have it in the color white. And I just love the ruffles on the bikini bottoms. The top is also kind of ruffly. Um, I don't really know how to describe the top. It's kind of like a runched, I guess, but it's on a structured bikini top. Usually when things are runched, they are like more around your midsection. And this one is runched on like a structured bikini top. So it's not gonna do anything really to accentuate your curves or make you look slimmer or anything like that. I think it's just there for style. Um, this one does have removable bikini straps, so you could make this into a tube top. And it just has your standard bikini straps. They are um, adjustable though. And then this one clasps in the back. Also, this one has like no, no give. You can't adjust the band in the back. Um, but it has like this weird little clasp thing, which honestly is kind of like a pain to figure out. But once you get it, once you figure it out, like there's no, it's not coming undone. It's not like those bikini tops where someone could come up behind you and like pull the string and your top is coming off. This one is like, when you get this like little metal clasp closed, it's staying closed. Um, but again, this bikini, I just feel so confident in. 
The bikini top fits my breasts very well. I got it in white because I, I wanted a swimsuit that I knew would match the cover up that I'm about to show you. I don't normally love white swimsuits. I'm always afraid I'm gonna get them like too stained, but this cover up matched it perfectly. So moving on to this cover up, this one also matches my nails, my baby blue nails that I have on today. Um, but we have this like butterfly cover up. It's just a little like sash to tie around your waist and it has these 3D butterflies, like they're stitched to the cover up in the middle. And so the wings are like 3D. And when you walk around, the wings kind of like flutter along with you and it is so cute. I love this baby blue color, it's so pretty. Um, and then you just, you tie it around your waist and that is it. That's your little bikini cover up. I'm not sure what else to say about it. Um, it is very lightweight. It's just mesh with like little fabric. Butterflies tied to it. Very simple, but so cute, especially for like a beach party or pool party. I've mentioned this in past videos, but I also think that these little cover ups like this would also just be really great to double as a shawl. You know, just imagine you're going even with like the little blue dress that I was wearing earlier. Just imagine like just drape it over your shoulders. You've got a matching little shawl, but you know, use your imagination. Like you have some sort of outdoor summer event. This isn't going to do anything to keep you warm by any means, but you just need something a little extra. This would double as a shawl and a bikini cover up. But that is going to be it for today's video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. I love doing these hauls for you guys. I love sharing my love for fashion over here on my YouTube channel, and I hope you all like it as well. Um, but that's gonna be it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, friends.